Okay, when you're doing a query by example or a QBE, what we need is the question. So in this case here, for this rugby camp table relationship diagram, we need to find what the criteria is. So in here, it's got find all players that went to a camp with the postcode of 4556 that are goalkeepers. So we need to find all the players. So one of the things we need to do is locate the player. So here is their first name, last name. So we need that information. That went to a camp and so if we look at the location this is our camp location so here is the camp here is the location with a postcode of 4556 that are goalkeepers so to find the goalkeepers we need to find what their position name is which is down in table position so a good idea is to start with um, the criteria first but it doesn't really matter because you can display them in any order so in this case here i'm going to start with the criteria so we want to find the camp with a postcode 4556. So in this one here, we need TBL locations. So select, in this case here, postcode from the table. So TBL location, where, in this case here, if you're going to put a, oh, because I'm using the spreadsheet, I'm going to put a little quote in, is equal to 4556. So this is the criteria where it's equal to 456. Now the next one was position. So this is position name. That's coming from TBL position. And that's had a criteria goalkeeper. So it's gonna be equal to goalkeeper. Now remember you gotta put the single quote in, otherwise it will, um, when you're using a spreadsheet, use your problem, but you don't have to do that when you're doing this by hand. So you can now see equal, they're my two criteria where the postcode was 4556 for the location. So camps that, to the camps with the postcode of 4556 and the position is goalkeeper. Now I wanna see all the players. So I wanna see things such as, could be the player ID. We could see the first name and also their last name. They're all coming from TBL player. We're not grouping by club. We're not ordering them alphabetically, but if we wanted to, we could actually order them by last name if needed. So in last name, you put ascending, or if it's descending. But in this case here, because it hasn't asked for an order by, I'm just gonna leave it blank. So that's how you do a QBE for this criteria here. Now, if I'm looking for between two dates, so say we're looking for this and also between two dates, we could actually use the start date, S date, and it could be start dates between this and this. So we could have a start date from TBL camps, and in the where clause, we'll have where, where start date is between, first of the first 20 and 12th of the 12th 20. So this is using the between clause for start date. So that will find any camps between those. Now, if we wanna find out how many players there are, what I'm gonna do is delete all these and up in player ID, I'm gonna put in there something like total players is the count or the count, and then I can put the field name in there, which could be player ID. So it'll actually count the player IDs. That should be a colon there, not a quote. So create this field called total players, count player ID from table players, and that will result that for all the people that were goalkeepers who went to a camp in 4556. So that's how we can do the aggregate ones. We create the field and we can use sum, we can use count, we can use average, etc. So if you're doing total sales and things like that, you need to use sum in here and you sum up certain things here or the field here. You could then group by employee name or ID and that way it sums up for each employee. And then you could actually sort that by the sum um, ascending or descending, depending if you want smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Okay, I hope this helped you understand QBEs.